Hello, young gardeners. Welcome back to our fun gardening series. Today, we're diving into a fantastic gardening strategy called companion planting. Ever wonder if plants can have best friends? Just like you might have a friend who cheers you up or helps you with homework, plants can benefit from having certain neighbors too. Let's explore how companion planting works and why it's like arranging playdates for your plants. Companion planting involves placing certain plants near each other because they help each other grow better. This can be due to many reasons like deterring pests, improving growth, or even enhancing flavor. It's a natural way to protect and strengthen your garden. Imagine you are in your kitchen ready to make a delicious pizza. What ingredients would you need? Tomatoes and basil are a classic combination, not just in cooking, but in the garden too. Planting basil next to tomatoes is a perfect example of companion planting. Basil has a strong scent that naturally repels many insects that might want to eat the tomato plants. So not only do you get tasty tomatoes for your pizza, but you also get some fresh basil to sprinkle on top. But let's look at another example. Carrots and onions make great garden pals. Why? Because onions can help protect carrots from their most common pests, like carrot flies. The strong smell of onions confuses these pests making them less likely to bother your carrots. It's like having a friend who keeps the bullies away. And there's more. Some plants can even share nutrients. Beans, for example, have a unique ability. They can take nitrogen, a vital nutrient for plant growth, from the air and fix it into the soil in a form that other plants can use. When you plant beans near corn, the corn benefits from the extra nitrogen. The beans put into the soil, helping it grow taller and stronger. It's like having a friend who shares their lunch with you when you forget yours. Now that you know about companion planting, think about how you can apply this in your own garden. Which plants might be good friends? Try setting up plant playdates next time you're gardening. By placing helpful plant buddies next to each other, you create a garden that's not just beautiful, but also happy and healthy. Remember, gardening with companion planting isn't just fun. It teaches us about cooperation and teamwork right in our backyard. Thank you for joining me today. Keep nurturing your garden and maybe introduce some new plant friends. Let's make our gardens thrive with friendship and care. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of gardening and how you can make your green space the best it can be. Happy gardening, everyone. See you in the next episode where we'll discover more gardening secrets together.